Chamberlain Coffee by Emily Chamberlain. Emma. Emma. <laughs> is there an Emily Chamberlain? Yeah, I don't there know. Is. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Another week of my face. This week, I have my sister with me. Go check out our videos. We are actually going to be rating influencer food products in one color today. And our scale today is going to be kind of weird. Delicious disgusting or the middle and when we say disgusting it really doesn't mean it really is disgusting it's just in the lower rates so there's only three choices that's hard i'm always in between of everything i know this is going to be a challenge for us because we both kind of sometimes a lot of the times actually we make very check out her video for the mr beast in that one you'll realize like what we mean by like our things are in the middle because that rating just turned out very funny so go check that video out in her channel anyways let's just get started because i've been talking too much like usual okay we have eight products today and five of them are drinks yes oh my god <laughs> four of them being energy drinks yeah, we are going to be like running around the house like crazy later, but why don't you choose the first thing you want to try? You got Chamberlain coffee? I did, but it's blue. I have some extra ones. Let me go check actually. Okay. So I have this that I got before and the box is blue, but all the packages are colorful. So I don't think it counts, right? Nope. Ali, I'm going to let you choose the first thing you want to try. Ooh. I mean, I'm eyeballing a food item, but since we have so many drinks, I feel like we should go with the drink first. Okay. Let's do G Fuel Chug Rug first. This oh, I've one. never tried like the packaged ones. We are going to try the canned ones as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do these two at once because we want to compare the powdered version and the canned version. All right, since you wanted to do this one, we're going to do the powdered version first. Ooh, so this is how it looks like inside. And I got this actually for a pretty cheap on Amazon. How much? Like six something. I think we can just split a pack. We can, we can definitely. Because there's too many energy drinks for one day. But this is how it looks inside. There are one, two, there's six in each box. So it's like a little over one dollar. I brought out some water and some cups. <laughs> Why? It looks like we're like baking or something. Oh, okay, it's very, very easy. There's no opening or anything, but it's very, very... Technically, we don't have to use all of it at once when it's powdered, so that's a good thing. Ooh, ooh, this one's blue! Wait, watch the color change. Wow! This. Because I think the canned ones aren't blue, right, you said? No. All right. Yay! Yay. Woo! Cheers! This is more sour. Oh, sorry. I already tried the canned one before. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe it's because we added less water. Because I don't actually know how much water <laughs> we're supposed to put in here. Because mine still look like a powdery. Okay, I think before we rate them, we're gonna taste this one back to back. And then we're gonna rate both of them. This is the carbonated version. Oh, this one's not carbonated. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, okay. <gasps> Ellie! Okay. okay. It's hard. Don't put me on a energy ride. <laughs> All right. So this one is carbonated and clear colored liquid. Cheers. <sighs> oh, it really helps with the thirst. I like this one so much more. <laughs> is it because you like the carbonated drink? Um, probably yes. I want to say I like that this one's like I like the carbonated one but i like the flavor of this one more really yeah because i'm into more sour i feel like that one's like more sweet and sour okay i know now okay i think i'm gonna put this one as delicious and then i kind of want to put this one in delish the middle i would say the powdered one i would say mid this one is delicious delicious okay so we have our scores for chug rugs honestly i think that was pretty good I first really want that. This one? No. This one? Yeah. I don't want to save it for later. <laughs> well then, can we? <laughs> Fine, you choose. Honestly, I want to do another drink because there is. I'm thinking the same one. Because this one I've been looking forward to ever since I saw it. We're Ready? Thinking the same thing. Can we point to yeah. it at the same? One, time? two, three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do another drink first. This one is not an energy drink. It's matcha. <gasps> It's okay. Let's do this one. Okay. This one, which is Chamberlain Coffee by Emily Chamberlain. Um, Emma. Emma? <laughs> Sorry. 
Is there an Emily Chamberlain? Yeah, I don't know. Is. Emma. Emma. Where did I get Emily? Where's Emma? I've never heard. There Emma. is an Emily. Oh, Chamberlain. is that her sister? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't really. <laughs> I am so sorry, Emma Chamberlain. <laughs> Chamberlain coffee by Emma Chamberlain. I am so sorry. Blue matcha latte with oat milk. Um, so we're gonna really try this. The drink itself is supposed to be blue. Blue yeah. matcha. That's why I wanted to try it so badly. Okay, the color itself looks like mud. It's sea green. It looks blue green, kind of. Oh, by the way, this one is vanilla sweet, the flavor. Oh, it's blue. I told you. I think my expectations were a little too high on this one. Me too. It's not bad. I think for our liking though, well at least for me, it's a little too sweet. It doesn't really taste like matcha. It's vanilla tasting, but I prefer like a very heavy, a very, very heavy matcha taste. It's really cool because I have never drank blue matcha before. I'm gonna have to rate this a mid. I was gonna say me too. If you didn't tell me it was matcha, I think I could have given it a delicious. On the bright side, it's vegan and dairy free. Can we do this? The cookies? Yeah. Okay. Next one is Mina from Pokimane and Darcy Minen. <laughs> Wait, what is it? <laughs> so this next one is Mina Snacks in the flavor Midnight Mini Cookies, Deep Chocolate, Velvety White Chips, and Sea Salt. Yeah, this one is by Pokimane and Darcy Mackin. This looks really good, but I've seen people rate this. Really? And some people don't like it. I like Ooh, cookies. it smells good! It smells very chocolatey. You probably can't even see it because it's like black cookies almost. This is the cookie. It smells so good. <laughs> Cheers! I like it. I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to try the other flavors. Oh, I like it! I want more. Okay, you guys, this is actually gluten-free flour. They use cassava flour and almond flour and organic coconut flour. So that's what I'm tasting, the almond flour, because it reminds me of um, macaroons. This is d -d 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 delicious Can we read this? There's like a little text message there. What are you reading, orange or...? Orange. <laughs> okay. New snack? Who it is? We're minor snacks, full of the good stuff, free of the bad stuff. What's the good stuff? Real ingredients, sustainability sourced, vitamin D, no gluten, no GMOs, nothing artificial. So, tastes like cardboard? Oh, not even close. You'll be shocked by how yummy these are. Bet I'll give it a try. <laughs> Let us know what you think. We're here to make better snacks for everyone. Oh my gosh. I want one more, please. please oh my please, god. Please. I love this. I'm rating this a delish. Next one is Prime by Logan Paul and KSI. If it's blue, I'll be surprised. Ah, uh, okay, that's good, bro. Oh, You're gonna put me in like a. I'm, I'm gonna run around myself so really little. <laughs> Zero sugar. It tastes pretty sweet. It's not bad. I'm in the middle for this one. I think I want to give it a the middle. I'm giving it in between a mid and a delish. Yeah, let's save this one for last. Mm. Seriously. <laughs> I know! That's why she keeps like she keeps wanting to try it. It's sitting in front of my face and why is it towards like my direction? Okay, so Ali really wants to try that one and I'm not gonna let her try it until the very end. That's the only one that I'm saying it must stay till the very end. Which means we don't have a choice but to do this one. Mr. Beast Feastables Peanut Butter Crunch. I think this is the new chocolate bar. I personally do not like peanut butter flavored chocolates. I can tolerate it, like I can eat it, but I don't like it. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. Just take the whole thing. All right, I'm just gonna go for a small piece. Cheers. Okay, that's weird. What? You like I actually it? like it. I like how there's little chunks of puff rice. Yeah. That is so weird because peanut butter, I don't like peanut butter, but this is actually not that strong peanut butter and I actually like it. All right, I'm ready to rate it. Really? Yeah. I don't know about this one, like where to rate it. I already know. I want to put in delicious. I would have to go upper mid and delicious. <laughs> I just feel like I like it, but it's a tiny bit too sweet. I mean, yeah. I am someone who eats 90% um, dark chocolate, but for a milk chocolate and peanut butter, this one's actually delicious. Ali's just like, move it on, I want to try that one. <laughs> okay, let's move on. 
She's like so eager, but we have to do the drink first. <sighs> We're going to do this last energy drink, um, Alani. This one is Breezeberry. Okay, okay. I have very high hopes for this one being the last drink of the day. Why does this taste like the two chug rugs mixed together? Kind of, yeah. Okay, that's funny because like for a split second after trying those two, I did want to mix them. I feel like it's kind of sweet. Is there sugar in here? No, it's sugar alcohol. One gram only though. The sourness in this one kind of tastes like what my saliva would taste like if I'm about to throw up though. Ew. You try that while I mix the two um, chug rugs together. You mean the aftertaste? Yeah, the sourness. Okay, yeah, a little bit. But I don't know if it's now that I'm imagining it because... Because I told you? Okay, I mixed the two chug rugs together. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Never mind. I like it. Really? What does it taste like now? It tastes like that, more sour. Oh. Give me some. Mm, I don't like it. No, I don't like the powder one. Still. Okay, I haven't rated this one yet, but I kind of want to put it in the low the middle. In case I didn't rate this yet, I would give this, yeah, like the low. All right, time for the last and final item that everyone has been looking forward to. It is Sour Boys from uh, Oompaville. So how much was it? This one I think was like four dollars something, and then I had to pay like seven dollars for shipping or something oh like gosh. that. Yeah. So you paid eleven dollars for this. I paid basically eleven dollars for this, but I think it's gonna taste really good. Well, it better taste good. <laughs> okay. Anyways, are you ready? I am so ready. Okay. I've been ready. This is how it looks. Oh, don't tell me it's one whole sheet. Woohoo! All right, we're just gonna share this roll. This is sour, boys. Cheers. Oh. Wow, it's pretty hard. Really chewy, but really good. Why does it turn like flavorless? You can taste the sweet and sour, but then like the more you chew it, the more like the flavor's gone. It's almost like after the outside layer, it kind of tastes a little plasticky. Like Doesn't rubbery? It? Yeah, 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 rubbery, not plasticky, rubbery. Wheat flour. Is that what we're tasting? Now that you say it's wheat flour, I think the rubbery taste is actually wheat. Oh yeah, that's definitely wheat flavor. It was a little weird at first because I wasn't used to that. But the more you chew on this, the better it the is. The tastier it gets. Mm -hmm. I would give this a delicious. I'm giving this a delicious. Oh, they also have spirulina extract. Spirulina also has like a really weird taste. I want more. Okay, so you know what? It's a good thing that our last product is delicious and ends high. Here, just take the whole thing. I feel like this wouldn't be the first candy I would like reach for though. I don't know. If this is the only sour candy that's sitting at home, this will be the first candy that I reach for because I really like sour candy. You know those more well-known sour candy strips that you always get from the stores? The colorful ones? Yeah, the colorful ones. They're not chewy enough. That's like, true. For me, it's actually not chewy enough. This one is actually like, if you want to call it thick cut, so it's like twice as chewy. I like the texture of this. So this one, I want to say I'm very happy about it and I'm, I cannot tell out of the foods if I like this one more or this one more. Really? Yeah. I like this one more for sure. I think, I'm not going to lie, I think I'm going to choose the Sour Boys. Wow. As my first choice. Out of the drinks, I think I have to choose this one. I'd choose this one. If I can choose both, I'd actually choose both of these. Anyways, if I mix these two, they're delicious. Oh my god, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that concludes our influencer product in blue color. I will probably do more of these videos in the future after I gather some more information and food and stuff. And actually get people's names right. And actually get people's names right. I am so sorry! 
Emma, I am so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now and end the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my sister's channel, especially the Mr. Beast burger video that's gonna be coming out soon. If you did like this video, please drop a like, comment, and or subscribe. And to my sister, link will be in the description box down below. I will see you in my next video. Bye!